The effective use of land and water is critical for sustainable development of any region. Realizing this, the Andhra Pradesh state government have initiated several measures over the years for developing watersheds in dry land areas across the state. Keeping in view the Common Watershed Guidelines 2008, the Andhra Pradesh state government have redefined its priorities and set goals afresh under Integrated Watershed Management Program in the state. The new vision is to improve the rural livelihoods through participatory watershed development program in 87.2 lakh hectares of treatable area in the coming 18 years. Since 2009, Andhra Pradesh has got 454 IWMP projects with an estimated cost of about rupees 2,357 crores for covering an area of 19.61 lakh hectares in 12 districts of Andhra Pradesh. In order to effectively implement the program, the state government have established SLNA District Water Management Agencies Watershed Computer Centers at state, district and PIA levels respectively. One project officer has been positioned for every three to four IWMP projects. Two technical officers, one engineer and one agricultural officer were given to the project officer for overseeing implementation of the projects. One technical officer has been appointed exclusively for implementing I and CB activities at PIA level. One watershed assistant, WSA, has been positioned at village watershed level. User groups at micro watershed level and watershed committees at watershed level were formed in accordance with common watershed guidelines. The SLNA has initiated several measures for institution and capacity building. Interactive satellite-based trainings are being telecast on MANA TV for field functionaries every week. IEC activities like Kala Jatas, film shows were extensively organized in the project areas well ahead of launching of the program. Wall writings emphasizing the need for conserving natural resources have been written in prominent places in the watershed areas. Entry point activities are a common feature in community mobilization strategy and activities like animal health camps, cattle troughs, village knowledge centers, water purification RO plants, solar street lights, etc were initiated to arouse the interest among the community. Detailed project reports were prepared through participatory processes like socio-economic household survey, participatory net planning, focus group discussions and others. Grama Sabhas were given the key role of approving the DPRs. In order to maximize the outcome of the investments made into watershed development, the SLNA has devised a convergence strategy for implementation of works under IWMP in association with rural development, agriculture, animal husbandry, horticulture, electricity departments. The SLNA has initiated several measures for production system improvements in the agriculture and animal husbandry sectors besides undertaking NRM works in the project area. Horticulture plantations are being extensively promoted in the lands developed under MJNRDGS in convergence with IWMP, APMIP and Indira Jalaprabha programs. Innovative practices like Community Management of Sustainable Agriculture CMSA, which lays emphasis on sustainable farming methods like crop diversification and non-pesticide management 
are being encouraged under convergence with Society for Elimination of Rural Poverty, SERP. In order to improve the productivity in the animal husbandry sector, the activities like animal health camps, infertility camps, sheep health camps, supply of mineral mixture to milch animals, supply backyard poultry units of 10 birds each to SCST families etc are being taken up in the project area. In convergence with SERP, livelihoods action plans have been prepared for promotion of various income generating activities for POP and poor. Realizing the potential of NGOs for implementing the watershed programs, 58 IWMP projects were allotted to 28 reputed NGO PIAs. The existing procedures for execution of works, such as maintaining master roles, software-based estimates generation under MJNREGS are being followed under IWMP2. Wage payments are being done through post office, bank accounts and electronic payment system to ensure speedy and hassle-free payments. For inducing transparency and timely releases, the Rural Development Department introduced Electronic Fund Management System EFMS, in which funds are pooled in a nodal bank at state level and payments are made directly to the accounts of the beneficiaries and parties concerned. Social Audit for IWMP has been entrusted to Society for Social Audit Accountability and Transparency SSAAT. Social Audit for all IWMP projects which have incurred minimum 10 lakh NRM expenditure since inception is being taken up for every six months for each IWMP micro watershed. In order to ensure the durability of assets created under IWMP, regular quality checks are being done by the quality control wing already established in the Department of Rural Development. Strong people's institutions are necessary for ensuring the sustainability of the efforts initiated under IWMP. The watershed committees and user groups are being encouraged to generate corpus fund of their own with regular thrift for effective and efficient management of the assets created. With the new IWMP strategy under implementation, the initial results demonstrate that many watershed areas are witnessing the rising groundwater levels, increase in vegetation cover, an improvement in the productivity of lands, better access to various services, all leading to improved quality of life in remote rural areas.